So a while ago, I told my niece I was gonna take my four ingredient cookbook and attempt to make something. She told me to film it, so I did. My niece is Melissa, she calls me Uncle Bill. You can call me that too. We're gonna attempt to make Mexican meatloaf. Well, I need two pounds ground beef. Two pounds ground beef. Here it is. Let's get three pounds. Trying to find picante sauce. Picante sauce. Picante sauce. I have no idea. Picante sauce. And once again, it shouldn't surprise you, I am clueless. I think I see it. Picante sauce found it. We'll be using ground beef, picante sauce, breadcrumbs, and two eggs. Oh, does two eggs make it five ingredients? We're gonna grease our pan. It's a good arm exercise during these quarantine times. Grease our pan. I preheated this old oven to 350. We're going to combine one cup breadcrumbs with two thirds cups of picante sauce and the two eggs along with the meatloaf. God, I hope I can do this. Breadcrumbs in. Get your hands in there. Just want to massage the meatloaf. Just massage the meat. Massage the meatloaf. Keep wanting to massage the meatloaf. Maybe dim the lights, put on some new age music as you do your massage. So you really want to massage the meatloaf, get all the tightness out. Can you feel that meatloaf? Oh, it's, oh. Just spilled breadcrumbs all over the floor. What do I do, hobo? Well, this part wasn't planned, but you wanna sweep up the breadcrumbs that you dropped all over the floor. And it sure helps that the floor is the same color as the breadcrumbs. I'm just curious, does the broom count as the sixth ingredient? I'm stepping on them. I'm stepping on the breadcrumbs, but I can't see them. You wanna sweep all your breadcrumbs up into a pile and maybe go get more breadcrumbs. Bet you can't even tell there were breadcrumbs there, can you? We continue our massage. Now you wanna mix the picante sauce in. We got the meatloaf, the picante sauce, and the breadcrumbs all mixed in. Now we're gonna form this into a meatloaf. How the heck do I do that? Form this into a meatloaf somehow. What do you think? Not too bad. I forgot the eggs. I added the eggs. All right, our food is ready. Just kidding. What for dinner? I made Mexican meatloaf. Mexican meatloaf? Mexican meatloaf. How do you say meatloaf in Spanish? I think it's just Mita Lofa. Ask Alexa. What? You're gonna ask Alexa? Alexa, how do you say Mexican meatloaf in Spanish? Mexican meatloaf in Spanish is pastel de carne mexicana. Now, why didn't you know that? All right, so our pan has burnt stuck on remnants. This is a trick I learned a long time ago. Take dryer sheets, detergent in, and just let that sit. And then in the morning, you should be able to clean it right out. This is our Mexican meatloaf with corn roasted potatoes. All right, so how was it? Good. So how was it? Pretty So the best part of the meatloaf was the corn. We had Mexican meatloaf, and how was it? It was the best in town. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to more videos like this. Please follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and I just joined Tic Tac.